I had been making complex After Effects puppet rigs at the Colbert Report. From what I read of this new program, Character Animator, it was going to help make that whole workflow easier. So I downloaded it the first day it was out. Everyone had the same reaction. What, are, what am I looking at? Why is it looking back at me and doing what I do? And I was just really impressed with the potential of it. What would it take to actually get it on the show? And then it was just kind of a matter of solving that problem we'd given ourselves to make television out of pre-release software. Well, you remember the old Irish saying. Oh, sure, lots of old Irish sayings, like if you hit a pig with a stick, you'll be picking splinters out of your bacon. Well, what if Steven has like an Irish ancestor? That was just sort of the test puppet that we used to kind of like workshop the whole setup. So Steven sat down and had an unscripted conversation with a cartoon character yeah. in real time. Yep. Stack's cartoon Irish ancestor was actually making Steven crack up. Oh, 11 kid, that's wonderful. I, I had four children and then I had 28 children. There were still some challenges and hiccups, but when that was happening, it did sort of feel like we were onto something. Please welcome Cartoon Donald Trump. I knew that Brian Stack did a great Trump impression, so I built that puppet. The best part of drawing that puppet was making sure I got the hands real small. I like them because they're just dainty, soft hands. Mr. Cartoon Trump, how do you respond to Anderson Cooper comparing you to a five-year-old? Anderson Cooper's a dum-dum. He's a stupid head, a total poopy pants, it's sad. You could build a scene out of the fact that Steven could show a pen to the cartoon and the cartoon could do that recoil. And we sort of tested it in real time off a laptop in the software, Steven interacting with the software itself for the first time. And that sold it. That was the first cartoon Trump that night. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Infinity. And so that is when the conversation with Adobe really started running. Producers would come up with ideas. Can Trump do this? Can Trump hold up a sign, put on a Rastafarian hat? And I would say probably, let me try to figure it out. So there were a number of times when I had to talk to Adobe and say, could you write a new bit of code for the program so that we can do this? And the answer was always yes. We're very gracious with working with our schedule, which is often one day turn around if we're lucky. You know, unless it makes America great again, in which case I started it. Hillary seemed like a really good second major puppet to unveil. This time they wanted to do a live, live version of the puppet. So during our convention shows, we did live episodes and they wanted Hillary, the cartoon, to be interacting with Steven in real time live for America. There. Thank <laughs> you. Adobe did this incredibly cool program that pushed the limits of animation, and now we were trying to push the limits of that new program. High touch of hand, Steven. That was like a notch in terms of like the growth of how we're using it because it was so ambitious. When it comes to having animation interact with people, I've never seen anything like this. I think we've probably only scratched the surface of what's possible. Cartoon Donald Trump, everybody. We'll be right back. I love Adobe Character Animator. I've known it my entire life. It came to two of my weddings.